Hey there, Hayden Dingman from PC World. We are here at Oculus Connect 5 where we just got our hands on, well, I want to keep calling it Project Santa Cruz, but it is the Oculus Quest now. Uh, I'll admit, not my favorite name, but uh, the, the concept stays the same. This is a standalone VR headset. It is not a Rift replacement. Uh, the way that Facebook and Oculus are pitching this is now a three-tier system. On the low end, you have Oculus Go, which is basically their Gear VR standalone headset, uh, no position tracking on that. On the high end, you have the Oculus Rift, which is still connected to a PC. Obviously, your 2080 Ti or whatever is going to be a lot better than anything they could put in a standalone headset. That also has base stations, uh, so you get full hand tracking wherever you put your hands. Which brings us to Oculus Quest, which sort of slots into the middle there. Uh, it is a standalone headset, so no wires, same as Oculus Go. The difference is, like the Windows MR headsets last year, it has inside-out tracking, which means cameras on the headset itself. Uh, Windows MR only had two right in the middle. Uh, Oculus Quest has four, one on each corner of the headset. Um, still none on the back, and we will get to why that's important in a bit. But basically, you get your full six degree of freedom, or six DOF, as Oculus is fond of saying. Uh, tracking, you get all of your hand tracking, so you can move around a room without needing base stations, without needing a tether to the computer, any of that stuff. Really impressive tech. When we saw it last year at Oculus Connect, back when it was still called Santa Cruz, as I said, it now has an official name. It also has a price, $399. It has a release date of next spring. Pretty impressive still. Uh, the main problem is still the hand tracking. Uh, we talked about this last year when it was Santa Cruz, but as soon as you move your hands out of the field of view, uh, the headset has no idea what you're doing anymore. Uh, they actually demoed the Oculus Quest here with a tennis demo. Uh, I, I don't know why, because that's specifically the, the occasion that I cited last year where I thought they might have problems. Uh, because what happens when you're playing tennis, if you don't know, if you're not a pro tennis star like me, you look forward, but you move your hand back here to swing, and as soon as you get right about here, the game has no idea what you're doing anymore. Uh, so it's a little bit weird that they chose that. So the other demos that we tried worked a lot better. Uh, there was one that was called uh, uh, Face Your Fears. Ah! Could you hear that scream? Yeah. Ah! A little bit of a goofy demo, lots of jump scares, but it worked at least. You could pick up a hammer, move around the environment. That was no teleporting. It was just moving with the analog stick. Uh, they also had super hot VR, which was probably my favorite thing here. Uh, unexpected because that was one of the things I tried in Windows MR and had a lot of problems with. Uh, the Oculus Quest version works a lot better, I think because they have more of a field of view where they're tracking your hands. Uh, you're less likely to put your hand behind your back there at least, uh, so you can still reach down, pick stuff up off the floor. Not perfect, I did have a few problems, but it worked better than I expected. And then they have this thing behind me, this dead and buried arena. This is the real marquee feature here this year. Uh, I don't think that this is gonna be ready when, the, uh, when Oculus Quest comes out next year, but basically Oculus is pitching this as beyond room scale, which is ironic because a few years ago, Oculus didn't even wanna do room scale in the first place. But I digress, they have beyond room scale. Uh, they're calling this an arena scale demo. It's dead and buried, which is a three versus three multiplayer shooter. It's already out on the Oculus Store. It's out on the Vive, I think, too. You can go play it. What they've done here is they've recreated a giant, I think, 4,000 square foot arena. Uh, you can run around. They have a bunch of boxes in there. Those boxes are recreated in game. As far as I know, Oculus, the headset, the Oculus Quest headset is doing that. Uh, it is scanning the environment and mapping those boxes in. Not 100% sure on that. We haven't talked to anybody about that, so I could be wrong. They might have uh, you know, programmed that in for this demo. But in theory, that's the idea. It would be able to read these uh, objects in the environment and create cover out of them. Um, so yeah, we ran around, we ducked behind cover, we shot a bunch of guns. Uh, I picked up a shield and then like kind of army crawled my way through for a little bit. Uh, lots of fun and a really impressive demo. These sorts of installations uh, seem like they'd be really great for the, the burgeoning arcade VR market where you could have a giant warehouse uh, in the, right now, people do that with the Vive, but they need to like daisy chain a bunch of Vive base stations together to cover the whole area. Really impressive that you could do the same thing basically with Oculus Quest. No base stations, no wires, anything like that. Um, so yeah, it seems like cool tech. And as I said, $400, uh, I think that this is going to end up being the sweet spot maybe for VR. You don't need a PC. Uh, so there's $1,000 off the price right there. Uh, there's no wires. So that eliminates one of, every, one of the big problems with VR at the moment. Uh, and $400 is that magic price point that Oculus was aiming at with the Rift originally and then missed and you know went to the $600 price. And we all know how that went. 
Uh, so $400 seems more than fair for this. Uh, as I said, there's some quirks with the tracking, uh, but honestly, I think that's something that me, as somebody who uses the Rift a lot, uses the Vive a lot, that's something that I'm gonna notice, not something that necessarily, you know, your mom, uh, your grandpa, whatever, whoever you rope into using VR, I don't think they're going to necessarily notice those flaws. Uh, they're just gonna be amazed that you could put this headset on and like kind of look around, set it up, and then go from there. So uh, cool technology. Uh, we'll see how it goes next spring. I have a lot of questions that I still wanna ask them. Uh, you know, we still don't have an idea what the resolution is. Uh, I think it's supposed to be the same as the Rift. We're not quite sure. Uh, we also don't really have an idea of uh, uh, how the, you know, the arena scale stuff works, how Guardian works, all of that setup. Um, that's stuff that we'll see, I guess, when the, when the Quest comes out next spring. Um, but for now, I'm impressed. Uh, I was impressed with Santa Cruz last year. I think this is a cool step forward. And uh, yeah, that's basically all we got from Oculus Connect 5. Uh, other than that, we'll have to uh, you know, wait and see what happens in next year's event. Uh, for PC World, again, I'm Hayden Dingman, and we will see you soon.